And one year, I was sent to a kampong called Jambu, Kampong Jambu in Padawan to do youth ministry. It was in this village that I found out that after harvesting new rice, many of the grandmothers could pack them and brought them down to sell in Kuching residential areas, going on food from house to house. You might have encountered them in the Atis. What they were doing is they were bringing back cash to put food on table for the families and for the children to go to school. I was blessed to have met them and I was glad that at least thinking back I had offered them some drink. Especially now when I'm doing pastoral in the kampong, they were offering me meals in their homes. These simple kampong people had offered me hospitality and welcome. Though they may not have much, they had shared willingly what they had. And they also taught me, they showed me that they kept the Catholic faith in the face of hardship and crosses of life. They are indeed disciples of Jesus. Thus, it was with great sadness one day that I heard the tragic news that one of these grandmothers died after being knocked down by a vehicle in Kuching. I knew the family. I knew her. And like her family, I too felt devastated. But when I joined the funeral in St. Mary Magdalene Church, Kampong Jambu, I felt the hope of the Biri family and their faith in Jesus, supported by the praying community. In the face of hardship, they still hold on to Jesus. We are assured by the word of St. Paul. In the second reading, when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. Brothers and sisters, the simple village folk have testified to me the reason and our hope, reason for our hope in the face of death. Though having lost a mother, the family accepted the cross of death and followed Christ in faith into resurrection and life. It was I who as a seminarian that has been blessed because of Jesus' promise. If anyone gives so much a cup of cold water to one of these little ones because he or she is a disciple, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. I was blessed by the Lord because these village folks are the actual disciples of Jesus who kept the faith, who taught me to persevere in the face of challenges. And so I persevered until I was ordained a priest a few years later in 1988. Today, looking back, I'm blessed because I am now able to serve them and to serve all of you. And so today, as they have offered me the blessing from Jesus, I would like to offer you Jesus in the Eucharist and Jesus, the living water, who says, anyone who drinks the water that I shall give will never be thirsty again. The water that I shall give will turn into a spring within him, welling up to eternal life. John chapter 4, verse 13. When we have Jesus, we have everything we need.